So we have a few poses today to help with flexibility. Um, a lot of golfers work on strength, but if you're constantly working on strengthening the muscles without balancing that with flexibility, you'll be really tight and constricted in your swing. So we'll start with a pose that works the back side of the body, particularly the hamstrings and the glutes. And you'll take a club and fold forward, walking the club out in front of you, hinging forward from your waist. Okay, let your head go forward and your hips go back. And try not to round too much in the upper back here. You wanna be really long in your spine. So think about lifting in the arm bones and lowering a little bit in the chest. Now, if this causes any discomfort in the low back, you can always drop the knees a little bit, okay? Take a soft little bend in the knees. Um, but the opposite of true, if this is too easy for you, then you can take the club, bring it all the way down, straighten the legs, fold all the way down towards your toes. Again, taking care to stay long in the spine here. Now, the next pose we'll do is a pose that is laying on your back and this helps target the back of the legs as well, um, but also the inside and outside of the legs, which gives you a little bit more range of motion in your swing. So start with the left knee bent and bring the strap around your right foot. With the right leg nice and straight, really reach through the back of your calf, reach through the heel, press your heel up towards the ceiling, and flex your toes towards your face as much as you can. You also wanna make sure not to hike this hip up too high, so you might bring that hip forward just a little bit. Now, bring the strap into your right hand and lengthen out your leg to the right, okay? Only as much as you can without lifting up in this left hip. So you wanna keep the opposite hip on the ground. And you'll feel this really all the way from the arch of your foot up through the inner thigh into the inner hip. Then after you've held this for about five to eight breaths, you'll come back in the center, okay? Straighten out the opposite leg, and then bend your, sorry, lengthen your leg all the way over towards the side. There you go. You don't have to roll too far to really feel this. And this gives you some nice length in the outer glute and outer hip as well. Now come back into center, give yourself a gentle tug down with the strap, and you'll take about five to eight breaths here, feeling that connection all the way from your foot, through the thigh bone, through the hip socket, through the back. In addition to helping to open up your hips, you also here get a really nice therapeutic release for the low back. And um, a lot of golfers really do have problems with low back pain and discomfort after a round. So this is a really good reset. And then after you've done this side, then you'll switch over to the left. Finally, the last pose we'll do will be child's pose. So you'll bring your big toes together, okay? Let the knees go wide, and then walk your arms forward, laying all the way down on your mat. Again, here, making sure you're nice and long through the spine, you'll really feel this in the outer hips. Now, if you're someone who has had ankle issues and this doesn't feel great on your feet, you can always place a towel, okay, underneath the tops of your feet. And if this is feeling like a little bit too much on your knees, you can always put the towel or a blanket in between the back of the knees to decrease the flexion there a little bit. And make sure you can get that stretch without aggravating any existing injuries.